You have found the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman with you, and it is holiday, Yule time, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa season, and with that it comes the most happiest time of year for me for beers. Christmas beers, holiday beers, winter seasonals, winter warmers, whatever you want to call them, are one of my favorite uh, beers uh, of the year. Even though I'm not normally a dark beer drinker, it's something that about these that, uh, or the season, or whatever, this combination is it's my favorite time. I could hand away all the lawnmower beers, I could hand away all the my box, uh, you name it, but if I had just had my Christmas beers, I'd be a happy camper. And the grandpappy, the big boy, the one that really got this ball rolling, is Anchor Steam with their special ale, uh, the Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is 2008, and yes, this is 2009. Uh, I'll probably be reviewing the 2009 here uh, shortly once I grab a six-pack of it. So this is the 2008 version. Every year is different. Uh, 2009 marks the 35th anniversary of the R Special Ale. 35 years. And when I was up at uh, Tornado in San Francisco, they had a good 15, 20, maybe more, of the taps from each year. And that was quite cool to look at. I couldn't quite get a good picture because the place so... Uh, dingy and dark, but trust me, it was it was pretty cool to see all those tap handles. So, let us see what the 2008 looks like. So it's, it's an orangish, dark brown, nice espresso-ish sort of head to it. Now it says it's brewed with spices, natural flavors added, Brewed and bottled in San Francisco, California. So, Merry Christmas 34, the 2008. So this one has been sitting for a while. There's a hoppy sort of aroma. It's pretty mellow, actually. It's like some of the brightness has come off of it. Uh, there's definitely two or three different spices in there. Um, oddly enough, it tastes a little thin to me for some reason. I don't know why. The spices are there. There's a little bit of hops there. Uh, there's not a lot of roastiness in there. I mean, it's there, but it's not, wow, that's roasty, roasty. Uh, the spices are swirling a little bit, but it all sort of fades away. Hey, another sip and see if my opinion changes, as it sometimes does from the first sip to the last. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. And then you get some of the spices on the back, and that's, that's about it. Now, I, if I had been a wise boy, I would have writ written down what my thoughts were on each year's beers. So I've been drinking these, oh, uh, since 2000 regularly. Before that, off and on, hit or miss. Um, but I've, I, I have all the labels from 2000 onward, so I know I've had, had them in my grubby little paws from then. Uh, but this is the first time that I've had one that's been a year old. And what I'm starting to do is to put together, uh, with this year, 2008 being the first, I know it's a little late, but being the first in sort of a cellaring sort of thing so that I can do a few years down the road a vertical of different years to see what they've become and what they taste like and hopefully have a nice little Christmas party with a couple select friends to see what they think too. But uh, this is interesting. I, this definitely has mellowed. I re sort of remember that last year's was spicy. Pretty spicy. And I liked it, and it seemed to have a nice alcohol bite to it. But this seems to have just sort of mellowed out into this, into the little uh, not-so-warming, but still spicy, mellow fall beer. I mean, this would be absolutely perfect with Thanksgiving dinner. 
hands down, be perfect. So there you go, 2008. A little bit later, there'll be the 2009. Thank you very much for watching, and this is Sean with the Beer Search Party. Bye-bye.